All right, so lesson 116 is on compound interest. So interest is the amount of money you get each year from the bank for putting money into their bank. So we have Mrs. Vaquez opened a $2,000 retirement account that has grown at a rate of 10% per year for three years. It wants to know the current value. So to figure that out, I'm going to take the amount she deposited, that's $2,000, and multiply it by 10%, or 0.1, which is the decimal equivalent. Multiply that out, move the decimal point in. So she earned $200 the first year. Now to figure out the total amount she had, I need to add that to the original $2,000 she started with. So I end up with $2,200. Now the second year, she starts with $2,200, and I'm going to multiply it by 0.1 again. Zero, two, two, one decimal point over. Okay. So it gets $220 the second year. And again, I need to add that to the amount that I have here. So I'm going to add that to the $2,200 she had from the previous year. So I end up with two thousand four hundred and twenty dollars then the third year I take this amount and I multiply it by ten percent multiply that out so this year she gets two hundred forty two dollars again add it to my original amount And I end up with $2,662. And that's how much she, her amount has grown over the course of three years. Okay. Now there is another way to do it that takes out this extra addition step. And I'm going to show you that here. So when Nelson deposited $2,000 in account and it pays 4% interest per year. If he doesn't draw any money out of the account, how much will be in the account after three years? So we're just going to do this first one, so three years. So the first year, again, he has $2,000. And this time he's going, he only gets 4% interest. Well, 4% is the same as 0.04. Okay. Now the trick on this one is I can actually multiply it by 104%. And that gets rid of that extra addition step, and I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm going to multiply that by 1.04. Okay, just add a 1 to it, and I'm going to multiply this out. So you get 0, 0, 0, 8. Okay, add two zeros and my 1. 2, 3, 2. Add those together. And the decimal place, one, two, one, two. So he ends up with two hundred and or two thousand and eighty dollars total. I don't need to add that to this amount. I took care of that when I added this one to my equation. So now all I have to do is do two thousand and eighty dollars and times that by one. Point zero four. Okay. So we go zero, four times eight is thirty two, carry my three, four times zero, zero, three, eight. Two zeros, zero, eight, zero, two. Add those together. Three, sixteen, two. And decimal places in. So the second year, she gets a total. Of, he gets a total of two thousand one hundred and sixty-three dollars and twenty cents. Okay. So then we're going to do it for the last year. Thousand. I'm going to need a little bit more room, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this one. Okay. So then we have two thousand one hundred sixty-three dollars and twenty cents, and I'm going to multiply that by 1.04 8 12 carry the 1 24 25 carry the 2 
four, five, six, two. Two zeros. Zero, two, three, six, one, two. Ah, run out of room. Add it together. Zero, eight, two, seven, nine, eight, one, two. Two decimal places in. So she ends up, he ends up with, oh, I think I've got it in the wrong spot. Oh, four decimal places in. That's my mistake. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So he has a total of 21000 or $2,189.73 because we're going to round it up to the nearest cent, which is this number here. So 73 cents. And that's how you do it if you don't want to worry about that extra step adding it to the previous amount. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.